All right, celebrities have starred in Super Bowl commercials for years now. Yeah, but the coronavirus is creating a unique opportunity for more actors to get some screen time amid a slowdown in the entertainment industry. What are you having a potato salad? The Super Bowl may be over, but the commercials during football's biggest night will live on forever. And that's a good thing for the actors in them. The coronavirus pandemic has caused a variety of businesses to slam on the brakes, including the entertainment industry. Experts say celebs have always appeared in Super Bowl commercials, but this time around was different. You have TV shows that are on hiatus, movies that are being pushed back. So you actually have some celebrities that are free to do work. So it seems like there was an opportunity this year to get some really like high-level talent. Many of this year's ads went light-hearted with the comedy, but heavy-handed with a large number of A-list cameos. Matthew McConaughey, Mindy Kaling, and Jimmy Kimmel kept it cheesy for the Doritos 3D Crunch ad. Grab an EV, meet me in Norway. And Will Ferrell, Kenan Thompson, and Aquafina drove audiences to laughter during General Motors' electric car segment. Give me back my face! For Seinfeld's Jason Alexander, doing an iconic Super Bowl ad was a no-brainer. I got a call almost from out of the blue saying, hey, Tide is really interested in a Super Bowl spot with you. And I, without seeing it, I went, I'm in. For actress Mila Kunis, filming her Cheetos commercial was all about having fun with her husband, Ashton Kutcher. But we both went, all right, let's just do this. Let's do it and have fun and look at it as like a date night. We shot it in two days and uh, made each other laugh a lot. While a good laugh is priceless, a 30-second commercial during Super Bowl 55 cost a whopping $5.5 million. Sal and Grasso, Fox News. So I thought the ads were okay. It's crazy. I didn't, none of them really stuck out to me, though. But let's talk halftime show because you are the expert. A lot of mixed reviews. I, I mean, we actually we have a morning meeting here every yeah. single day, and we came in here and like, okay, what do you guys think? And it was a lot of mix. I totally disagree with you. That what? I don't think there were mixed reviews. I think people like. I think people wanted to not like it. Honestly. Oh really? Yeah, that's my, my oh, personal I I my personal opinion. I went into I think it with low expectations, like and I was like, yeah. and I watched it. I was like, wow. Well, like the, yeah, the thing that I, the thing that I felt was like, wow, there's a lot more songs that I didn't know that he sang. I mean, like yeah. all those songs are really good, and then I was like, oh wow, that was all him. Yeah. <laughs> so and he was singing. And I think, he was singing, yeah, and that was something was like cool. maybe like 30, 40 seconds in. That's something I said to when I was watching. I was like, yeah. he is singing, yeah. which is important. I think that why not? You know, why sure. be? Yeah performing in the Super Bowl and choose not to sing, obviously. Right. Some it's people are more acrobatic, and so it's, like, difficult. Um, but I think I think that's just a lot of people wanted to dislike it because they not, weren't excited about the weekend because they didn't right. know his music, but they really did, right? Yes. You, you realize that, too, and I wasn't as excited. I'm like, oh, okay, the weekend. But you do realize you know more songs. Yeah. I just felt it was kind of lackluster. He just wasn't. Really? Uh, yeah. I just wasn't enough. And I watched it this morning. I didn't watch it live. But yeah, I've heard, the audio was rough, but maybe that was the recording I saw. I do want to watch it again. I want to just kind of break it down because you know you when you're watching it in like live you're just yeah. like there's so much going on <laughs> but yeah. I thought it was good I liked it so anyways yeah we'll, 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 we'll be talking <laughs> Super Bowl all, all morning yeah. long yeah. let us know what you're too. thinking too well Apple Kia calling it quits on plans to make an electric car we're gonna talk about that backlash and the decision that really is having an impact on Wall Street this morning I want to give you a live look outside right now your business briefs coming up next.